Welcome to the Franche Montagne in the canton of Jura. A landscape like no other, with seemingly endless rolling hills, thick forests, and paradise of green pastures for cows, horses, and hikers alike. But there is another fundamental ingredient here that draws people in from all over the world. Watchmaking. This part of Switzerland is known most specifically for producing watch parts and the iconic cases that store the final product. Welcome to the museum and restaurant Le Paysan Horloger, which means the farmer watchmaker, right Jackie? Yeah, that's right. Uh, farmers and watchmakers uh, mean that uh, around 1750, Geneva people, they knew in the mountain of Jura, farmers had the know-how to manufacture metal components as long as they used to make their own tools for the fields. So they subcontract the movement components to the farmers of the Jura to have them done. And that was especially true during the winter, right? Absolutely, because uh, we had at the past time a long winter and a lot of snow. In 1907, for example, it was a four meter snow. So during the long winter, the farmers had to make some money. They thought, what can I do? And uh, finally, they get uh, watch components to manufacture and they got some money for that. And you are the owner of the watch brand Rudy Silva. So who better to explain us about the watch parts produced in this area? It's a concept of watches to promote the talent of the people of the region. Well, I have a guilloche, I have a beveler, I have a lady who's making enamels. All these components are summarized in my watches. So it's so crazy to say that it's not agriculture, but actually watchmaking, what drives the economy of this region. Most of the people working in the manufacture, they are specialized in watches or watch components. Mm. Here in Lebois, well, we used to be specialized in movement components, but next to us, in Le Noirmont, they used to be uh, specialized in cases for the watches, particularly pocket watches. If you have the opportunity to visit, it's a fantastic museum next to here. Now I know what my next stop will be. Thank you. Le Musée de la Boîte de Montre is a renovated regional workshop that dates back to the 1850s. Amazingly enough, you don't only learn the watchmaking history, but you can also get your hands on it using some of the mechanical parts made in this region. I certainly never imagined that a region could carve out a full-blown economy out of a case, and much less in the middle of nature. And skipping town without building your own watch here would be a sin. Welcome to our Initium workshop here in Le Noirmont. We offer courses where you can make your own Swiss watch in a day. Participants come here and firstly they have a little uh, theoretical part where they will learn how a movement is working. They will choose all the components and then they will go for the biggest part of the day to the workbench and they will assemble their own Swiss watch by themselves with the help of a master watchmaker. How much would these courses cost normally? These courses cost from uh, 1,700 Swiss francs to 2,700 Swiss francs, depending on the course we choose. They can take a day, a whole day? Yeah, you can choose between a half day or a full day course. Okay, and I noticed you have a watch of your own in there. Did you make that? Yes, I made it by myself and I'm not a watchmaker. Elegant, certainly. I would wear that. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, can you show me some of the samples? Yes, let's go. So here you can see all the components you can choose during a course. You have all the straps, the movements, the cases and so on. And you will start choosing all your components. You will say, okay, I love this movement with this case. I definitely want this dial with these hands. And like that, if you have a look, you will see how your watch will look like at the end of your course. Beautiful, such an art. I definitely have to come back for a full day course, Thank but you. in the meantime, is there another activity that I should try in this town? Of course, so you definitely can't miss a horse ride and it's even free if you spend two nights in the area. It's free? Yeah. Oh, well then, I better get going. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely ending this day with a high note.